Good morning, people. This is Lugano at 6.40 in the morning and a couple lights on a couple of people commuting to work. Anyway, it's time for me to commute to work, which means heading over to my office over here. Ooh, stopping to get coffee along the way. My first thing in the morning is usually, I always have a task ready first thing in the morning. If you read all those productivity blogs or books or tips or whatever, you know, they always say, don't check email first thing in the morning and stuff like that. And I'm a big adherent to that. And so first thing in the morning, I always have something set up. This morning, it has to do with sales. I'm, I'm tweaking these emails that I'm going to be sending out to uh, legal firms for sales. And so that's what I'm working on now. So I'll do that. This is this, focus, focus, there we go. And this is the same view, but at 8.30, or probably 8.45 by now. And as you can see, the light has come out. And it's a brand new day here in Lugano, Switzerland. So what happened, I'm really back with, there we go. So what happened was I created these sales emails and what I'm doing, I wanted to uh, speak a bit more about it because I think sales is extremely important for freelance translators and so I'm really trying to get better at it. I have a sequence of six emails that I'm sending out and, uh, and, and I'm getting email addresses. Well, I used to get them haphazardly or try to search for them wherever. Now I actually uh, hire someone online to give me email addresses and uh, you know I'll get like 200 email addresses uh, from a virtual assistant online who helps me out with them, someone who does data research in specific areas and specific industries, and then I target them. And right now, I'm going to be targeting people in the legal industry in uh, the German part of Switzerland and, uh, you know, see if I can provide translations for them. As I mentioned a couple times, I'm also transitioning into an agency and working with other translators to provide many different languages. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do, and that's what I've been working on so far this morning. Okay, I mean, I can, yeah, and I can evaluate uh, how, how hard I want to make it for them or not, I guess. Um, but actually, yeah, that should be good for now. Well, the call went on for about an hour and a half, but, uh, but it was good because actually I was able to get quite a bit of stuff done. And uh, now I'll go over the website, see how that works. Anyway, now I need to get some work done. I'm going to a coffee shop. And uh, unfortunately in Switzerland, we don't have Starbucks, or at least my part of Switzerland, we don't have Starbucks. We don't have those other types of coffee shops. So going to a coffee shop means going to either Co-op or Migros or Manor. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna pass by Manor, but I think I'll end up at the Migros close to the airport. Get some work done there until my meeting at 2 p.m. And here we go. So, I'll talk to you then. Two hours later. So, the Migros was full, 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 full of people because it was lunchtime. So I ended up going to this coffee shop close to the IKEA here, which had the worst internet connection ever. So anyway, I was barely able to get anything done. Actually, I got quite a bit done, everything considered. Um, but yeah, that'll teach me to uh, go look for an internet connection during lunchtime here in Lugano. Unfortunately, when you're in Lugano, those are some of the things that you need to take into account. Yeah, in terms of stuff like that, actually, Lugano is very inconvenient because even the, uh, you know, down in Italy, it's better. And um, and up in this German part of Switzerland, it's better. But here in Lugano, that's what are you going to do? And uh, now I'm heading over. Uh, there's some repairs that need to be made to the house. So I'm heading over there to talk to the repair guy and get a quote. And uh, then I need to get some more work done. Uh, but I'll probably do it from home. And uh, that's about it. Also, I didn't take the clue that everyone else was eating during lunchtime, so I didn't eat, so I'm really starving, which means now I'm having this. And uh, bon appetit. And now I'm back home. I'm going to get some work done uh, before the end of the day, before the end of the work day. Uh, in fact, I just got a call about, from a guy who wants to translate a book, but he's looking for a very, very low price, which unfortunately I cannot accommodate now, but we'll see what happens. 
And uh, yeah, otherwise that's it. I want to finish up some stuff and then if I have time, go downtown, get some photocopies done and maybe buy some groceries and stuff. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, now it's back to work. Okay, it's 6 p.m. It's time to go jogging. And uh, maybe if I take a break, I'll take some pictures too. 20 minutes later. Uh, I'm back. Um, oh, I can't see anything. I'm back after a good jog, out of breath. Time to go home and eat some dinner. This music I listen to while I jog. Now I showered and I'm cooking dinner. I realized that I came back to Switzerland about a week ago and, uh, and so I've been doing this and I should have done it when I was back in Taiwan because that would have been pretty fun. Unfortunately there I was with my wife and uh, you know we were really busy doing all our stuff there so I mean it, it just I didn't think about it. But you know we'll see where we go. It looks like in a month or two we'll actually be moving to the States so I'll definitely do one from there if that's the case. Otherwise, uh, this is another day in my life. Now I'm cooking dinner back here, and, uh, and then I'm gonna relax, chillax, and call it a night. That's the cool thing about being a freelancer. You can run errands and stuff during the day if you want to, and you know, skip out on traffic. You don't have to do it after work or uh, on Saturday like everyone else. Uh, but it also means that you need to keep on top of your own stuff and you need to, you know, keep on top of what you need to do. You need to be able to do it well, set your own schedule, be your own boss, all that good stuff. And uh, that's my life. So that's what I've been doing and hopefully you found it useful, you found it informative. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.